operators and adjacent lanes work together to administer the standing power throw to their group of soldiers. All lanes are filled with no more than four soldiers per lane. The last soldier in each line moves out onto the lane to retrieve medicine balls. One grader moves onto the testing lane with a wooden or PVC marking stick in preparation for marking the landing point of the throw and measuring the distance. The first soldier in each line moves to the start line, faces away from the lane, and picks up the medicine ball. Towels are available to wipe and dry the ball. All standing power throw lanes will begin testing with a common start as directed by the NCOIC. The NCOIC gives a preparatory command. Graders ready? Graders respond with a thumbs up. The NCOIC gives the command, go. The grader manages the throws and records the scores, alternating between soldiers in lane one and soldiers in lane two. Soldiers only execute throws when directed by the grader. As a safety precaution and to ensure accurate measures of throwing distance, only one soldier from the two lanes throws at one time. The scorer marks each record throw and announces the distance in meters. 7.5. After all lanes have completed two record throws, the NCOIC will direct soldiers to rotate. Throwers move onto the field. Retrievers move to the back of the line and the next soldier in line steps up to the start line. Graders ready? When the NCOIC issues the command, go, all lanes will start testing. Once all four soldiers and all 16 lanes have completed the standing power throw, they will be in a single file line behind the standoff cone for each lane ready to begin the hand release push-up. 